Hello, colleagues. Today is Wednesday, February 16th. I'm greeting from my office where I am in the midst of one of those days where you're wondering, like, when is it over? At the same time, is it ever going to be over because it's going this that way? Yes, I got a little frenetic energy going about me today, but I hope you all are doing well as we move into the uh, middle of February. A uh, couple of things internally that I've been uh, working on, just so you will know or where I've been. Uh, I did have the opportunity last week to participate in our professional development day and offer some comments, particularly around the mission of a teaching university and talking specifically about Nevada State College and talking about this idea of reclaiming uh, and owning our teaching mission and the distinctiveness of that in terms of this moment that we're in. So that was quite a great opportunity. So thank you all uh, for those of you who gave me feedback on that. I also uh, met with uh, members of our foundation board and have been doing uh, some visits also with some of our key donors talking with them, getting to know them. In particular, our foundation board is starting to think about uh, preparing for a retreat that's coming up. What are some of the key issues and trends we should be uh, thoughtful of? Uh, how do we start to prepare for the future as we move into the next 20th year, 20 years of Nevada State? So all of these things I think are imperative for us and to really spend time. So I wanna thank uh, our vice chair, Sonia uh, DeBonis and then Walter Hashimoto who met with me, uh, deeply grateful to them. I I also did an interview, uh, or I guess I should say a photo shoot, uh, with the Nevada Business Magazine. I had already done an interview with them, uh, but then got to spend some time with a photo shoot. So pretty interesting and looking forward to some continued opportunities to advance uh, the mission of our institution and our value proposition. And then also ended the week with an interview with Telemundo. Uh, that was a great opportunity to talk about why a Black History Month matters and, and to talk a little bit about my own experiences unique shaping me for this role. Uh, externally, I also had the opportunity to attend the Southern Nevada Forum. The city of Las Vegas last week was my first time with that. It's a kickoff event where you have these elected officials from our region, business leaders, community stakeholders, and others kind of come together and start to prioritize on the agenda for the legislative session. Quite intriguing, literally get up and walk around and do this, have these very intense conversations, give feedback, capture to move to the next thing. So that was quite interesting for me. And uh, as someone who is newer to the region, but certainly have a very, I think, bold voice around issues of education and workforce, uh, it was a great opportunity to, to participate in that. I also met with Assembly Member Brittany Miller. I want to thank her uh, for her time in coming out to understand more about Nevada State and what we needing as we step forth and start to prepare for the next legislative cycle. Uh, observations that I want to share with you, uh, you all, all received communication from me last week when the governor uh, lifted the mask mandate. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the thoughtful conversations that went into that, the ways in which you all have engaged me in those conversations, or even more importantly, engaged each other in that conversation. Uh, I really want to continue to encourage you to use your mask, particularly when you are interacting in large uh, groups or even small spaces with other people. Uh, we know that we're still living in a pandemic, and while certain indices may indicate that uh, a, a statewide or a global uh, perspective regionally as it relates to the mask is no longer necessary. I really want to help you all to think, uh, encourage you rather, versus help encourage you to think about how we can be good citizens with each other. Uh, we know that we have folks who live with us and work with us and who have immunocompromised health statuses, who have legitimate concerns about uh, not wearing masks. So if we can practice that where necessary and where possible, I really would encourage you to think about doing that as a social um, we're part of the social contract with each other. And I think if we can take care of each other, I think we'll be doing a lot better. I um, might ask of you, uh, I think it's really important for us to really start to talk a lot about uh, the professional development opportunities that are around us. I thought about it as I sat through last Friday's session and really enjoyed after mine, I heard Tony do a session on some of our key metrics. And as I'm now preparing lots of these narratives that I'm asserting in various spaces with our elected officials, it's been so intriguing to me to really understand and be deeply grounded in who we are, 
who we serve, understanding our distinctiveness and our mission. So I encourage you as you're getting grounded and reacquainted with all the professional development opportunities that are within your various disciplines or your area of work that you have within the institution and for our students as you're doing the same thing, I really want to encourage you to be thoughtful about how we begin to construct uh, statements about who we are and our value proposition. You know, I came across an article uh, that really struck for me, a 2018 piece from the Pell Institute that talked about college affordability. And it said something that I thought was this, uh, why, and it spoke to me about why we exist in Nevada State. And it had in here that only 11% of students from the lowest uh, quartile economically ever earn a baccalaureate degree within six years. 11%. So I would offer to you, uh, in a state that we are in right now, it is essential for us to continue to talk about our value proposition and how Nevada State is here for the new majority. We're here to help accelerate those numbers and to make sure that no one is left behind. Our teaching mission is distinctive and I love it. And I love the fact that I get to do it with each and every one of you. So let me end with a place of gratitude as always. I thank you all for the great ideas many of you send and the responses you've offered to me. Um, I want us to continue to remember that our culture is what makes Nevada State distinctive. We serve distinctive students with a profound mission and we do it in a way that our culture, I believe, is part of our secret sauce. I hope that you all have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next week, okay? Take care and be well.